What's up guys, Wheels here today bringing you Super Dungeon Tactics. Uh, I've been meaning to play this game for quite a while, finally got a chance to get around to it. Uh, played a little bit uh, just to see kind of how it starts off. And uh, there's no voiceovers, but that's okay because it's a super awesome game. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, it's based on a tabletop game called Super Dungeon Explore. And it is by Underbite Games. So let's get started. Before Crystallia, there was only the goddess. Then from the darkness came laughter, and with laughter came light. The darkness of the Ethereum was shattered by the heart and joy of goddesses' blinding light. <clears throat> The lands of Crystallia were willed into being by her were willed into being by her joyful song, and the seas formed from her happy tears as she realized the marvel of creation. Pleased, she cast her light into the sky, where it split into all the colors of the rainbow and gave birth to all the creatures and people of Crystallia. When the light of Crystallia was cast, a perfect shadow of its stony mountains, lush forests, and cheery fields was birth. In the dark realm, the lands were twisted reflections of Crystallia's beauty and, ma and majesty, its inhabitants as cruel and brutal as the land from which they were spawned. In the shadow, oh, in shadow, the dark consul rolls, and with great skill he forged a powerful weapon, the Midnight Blade, capable of piercing the veil between two realms. With the Black Blade, he opened the first portals between Crystallia and the Dark Realm. From the portals, legions of monsters spilled forth into Crystallia, and the Gleaming Realm was cast into Strife. Through Strife, stories are told. Through conflict, heroes are born. Whether born of obligation or circumstance, they are heroes with stories told throughout the ages. Many dare to chase this dream, and few will stay to see it through. But two now seek to live the dream and reap the rewards of a hero's life. One, a dwarven fighter brandished steel of both courage and weapon. Prodding and provoking, he stands to prove his mettle on the battlefields made fresh by his wor words. His name to be written alongside the great warriors before him. So we're going to go ahead and call him Van... Thur. Ooh, can't put a space. Vanther. Van Vanther. The other, a human mage flings fire from fingers fiercely. Well, that's flings fire from fingers fiercely. Though few can match the heart of her conjurations, few still can match the dedication to her craft. She calls many around her friend, insisting they call her by the name by her by name in their time of need. Weird. We're going to call her um, Tia. Sure. The Ember Mage. Deep within the Fey Woods, the familiar sounds of metal ringing, flora sizzling, and reptiles hissing fill the air as a small band of kobolds meet their end in the hands of these capable adventurers. Come on, ye yellow bellied cowards. Have ye no bearer to okay to do then to cry for ye mums? Wow. I barely touched ya and you're already broken. So this is kind of the prologue intro here. Yeah, pew pew pshow. Wow, interesting. Pew pew pshow! This is so much fun. I'm so glad you convinced me to come along, Vanther. I feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Pip pip pew. So this is a tutorial um, in a second here. I, tis a great deal of fun, though we mustn't lose eyes on the others. There's one getting away now. Man, I wish I could do an accent for him. Hey you, I ain't finished with you yet. Alright. Mmm, prak out. Wow, okay. Don't know what that means. Oh, he looks dead. Nailed him. Nailed him! Good shooting, Tia. I'll take care of this and this and... Wow. 
Yearn for a world of pain, lizard man. Come on. Come on. All right. So this is going to be kind of the intro here. So just kind of teaching you how to play the game. So obviously, uh, rotate the camera. Waza does a standard pan. Uh, zoom in and out with scroll wheel. Um, and movement is very different than a traditional uh, tactics game where you, you like click on them and then click where they want to go. Because it's based on tabletop game, it actually plays very much like the tabletop game where you actually pick them up and drag them. Uh, I think that's super cool because it's like moving your guy on, uh, on the tabletop. Now, the white spot is going to be the targeting regular call, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on him and confirm my action here. Come on now, the other's heading this way. Yeah. Yeah. There they are. We got him cornered. Can't run away now, creeps. Creeps. Okay. So, uh, the mage has a cool AoE ability. So, I'm going to go ahead and right click um, on her. So, you select her. So, before we select on him, so I'm going right, to uh, left click on her to select her. And you can see down here, uh, it doesn't matter right now which one goes first. Um, but the cool part is, is they have an action wheel. So they all have an action wheel depending on, you know, what their thing is. So uh, he is who we are, or she is who we are working with now. And we're going to use Pua. And the nice part is, is she attacks just like a standard uh, mage in a 1 to 3 radius. But... We're going to go ahead and click on this one, and because it's an AoE, everybody dies! Yeah. Um, Spacebar is also a quick action. I like to move the mouse, or move the camera around a lot, so I'm always, my hands are always on the keyboard, but the mouse works well as well. I'm not too concerned about abilities, but they do have these power-ups so right now we're going to use a lettuce which just gives an extra range move him here and his swing is a sweep attack so we're going to go actually go ahead and use sweep and take them both out round two ready All right, so this is where they actually start bringing in the other tactic side of things. You could reorganize where they want. Um, and then there's also dice. Dice um, is the tabletop aspect of it. So it is a variable that gets added before the round. Uh, you roll the dice, and the dice actually give you modifiers. So in this case, weakens heroes or empowers enemies. Uh, and then increases the amount of each attack. I know I want her to be able to attack more. And I don't really care because he is my knight. And I kind of already have a strategy for this. So I'm going to move him in here. And we're just going to attack. He is going to come in. And he's going to rally. Which is kind of an AoE move. Uh, it actually allowed him to rally that target. Now, I didn't expect him to only rally the one. That's okay, because AoEs are awesome. And both of them were in radius. And now you'll see here, just like a regular tactical game, it dropped off um, the person from it. Now there's the three people left, and I get more modifiers. So this is just an extra move. Not really beneficial right now. So I'm going to go ahead and give her this and him this. I can also drag it straight to the cards. I just like dragging it straight to um, the character because it signifies it a little different. Now, if you recall... They're moving in radius, which is awesome. So now I could go. Oh, he is in the way. 
so I can't actually target him because he's standing there and I can't target anywhere else so I'm just gonna have to hope for the best All right, let's see what I get on dice rolls. Move and same thing. That does not help me at all. The audio sign works nice because uh, just in case you're not sure or if they're like the same, you can just press the auto sign. But for the most part, it doesn't really matter. Um, at least in these beginning stages. Yay! Phew, that was a blast. What I get? Wait a minute. Wait a moment. Where are we now? I thought that wasn't anyone around for days. That's what I'd be thinking too. There's no mentioning of people around these parts on the map. On the map? Huh. Why on your toes, Tia? Summon's coming. So I know that there's 15 or some odd heroes that are all unique and they all have their own abilities. Um, so this is probably another hero. Oh, hello there. Yes, yes, everything is alright here. Sorry for the concern. I'm Tia, and this here is my friend, Vanther. We were just strolling around the forest looking for troubles, and I guess you could say we found some, because these kobolds jumped us, and they were all and they were all like, rawr, and we were all like, grr, now you've done it. And they swung at us, and we swung back. I was all... Pew, pew, pew! <laughs> and Vanther was like, Tia, you're rambling. Yeah, that's what he was like, 100%. He? Sorry, all the fighting just got me all riled up. Anyways, we seem to have gotten a little lost. We didn't know anyone was out here. Oh, yes, this place has been here a long time, but we can talk about all that inside. I'm Taylor. It is a pleasure to meet you both. Taylor, huh? I noticed ye have not much in defense, Taylor. How's it your we village? This is going to be so difficult for me. Village here is kept safe from all the woodland critters and evils about. We have had no need for defense for many years. We are at peace with the forest, and in return, it keeps us hidden. Huh. This also means visitors are rare and must be given a proper welcome. Let's visit the gathering hall and meet with the council. We must council. We must prepare. Prepare. My my Taylor, who are your new friends? Oh, Mr. Mayor. Mayor Samuel. It seems you found me first. We have a couple visitors. Ha! That I can see. Welcome to our quiet village, friends. As you have heard, I am the mayor of this patch of land. But please, no need for formalities. Just call me Samuel. It is a great joy to see new faces about. Aye, we feel the same. Vanther and this is Tia. We were just finishing bashing some cobalt heads outside your wee fence when Taylor overheard and let us in. If and not for us, I'm sure them cobalts would have done some serious harm to your people inside. That is impossible. The forest has protected us for, for as long as the village has stood. You speak true, Taylor. I am sure these kobolds have no intention of entering the village. But how can ye be, fo sh be so sure? Ye must have some plan in case of an attack, so you're no completely defense. So you're no completely defense. Oh, so you're no or completely defenseless. For a bit of coin, we can do the dirty work to protect it and take care of any. We put our trust in the deep root tree's protection, just as the deep root tree trusts we will not do the forest harm with our presence. This has been good enough for us our entire lives, and we will continue on until our time to become one with the goddess. He's pissed off right now. All right, Vanther, but let's not speak of attacks and somber futures anymore. And now he's all happy. I would be like, no, get out of my village, bro. This is to be a, a time of celebration. I will speak with the rest of the council to arrange a feast in celebration of your visit and a place for you to stay for as long as you desire. In the meantime, drink, be merry, and enjoy your stay. And so they did. The gathering hall was filled all day long with disbelieving eyes, mesmerized ears, and ink 
inquisitive voices as the adventurers shared their stories, their drinks, and with the people of the village. He's flashing this other one. I think that's the next step. Good day led to good night with laughter and lyrics abundant. Those who could walk returned to their homes, assisting those too tired to stand. And room was prepared above the hall for the visitors to lay their heavy heads. Their heavy heads. But it was not long before the sound of pleasant summer became panic pounding upon closed doors. Dun dun dun! dun, 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 dun. Urr, no more pastries, please. What? Pastries? I don't want pastries. Quickly, the fences. Wicked creatures are tearing them apart. You have to help us. Like we told you so. Herga. What's going on out there? Please help us. We're under attack. They're attacking the town. Oh, no. We're on Earth. My head. We're on our way. She's drunk. She crunk. I told them. I told them this happened. Stop protecting. Moria, hate to bring your friends for... Alright, this is horrible. Moria, you had to bring your friends for another old-fashioned beatdown, did ya? Well, I'll gladly oblige ya, and I promise you I'll be ballin'. Ballin'? Just like the others. Oh, crying. Haha. -ha. Let's just finish this quickly so I can get some more winks, okay? Okay. Alright, so... Um, actually, I probably want to move her a little bit closer. Oh, nice. Okay. So, I want her to have more attack and him to have more speed. Every encounter will have one or more objectives. In the upper right, you can see... Okay, so, currently, it's just eliminate the enemies, which is fine. Um, so that means he can move here. And... I don't know why I just said I should have just skipped. And oh. What? I'm gonna attack there anyways. Let's do the damage. I'd rather do damage as much as I possibly can. You took damage, here are a couple tips. Don't forget to use consumables. Here's within with high aggro will be targeted. Okay, kill enemies before they can activate. So I'm assuming the tanky classes. Ooh like him have a higher aggro i don't know if they actually determine aggro ba Ooh. Auto sign. based on anything other than uh, what they actually do so like i don't know if attacking causes more aggro or if moving or any of that stuff. Oh, she's gonna potentially die. That's okay, because I'll move her here. She will attack here. Take them both out. And. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna give her the shield. I'm gonna give him the move. So he has a, a shield. Because he has that one defense every turn. I don't think restores two health. Yeah, that's fine. So we're just gonna move him here. Attack, destroy. Attack and destroy. Awesome. Pia and stay down. She's so happy. Fine fighting as always, Tia. Morn earned our stay this night. Morn, Morn earned our stay. More than earned our stay this night. Okay. Huff, huff. There you are. Need help. He's all like chill. And he's like, everybody's dead, but I'm so chill. No time. Cobalt's farm fire. No. The farm. Yay. So that was the prologue. What is this? Wait, wait. Ooh. Stats. Nice. Loot. I got silver chicken bones. 
Cool. So that was the prologue. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.